I was sort of wondering last night how, how many days before a stormtrooper outfit becomes uninhabitable. <laughs> About 20 minutes, I think. Less Ew, Jim. You didn't go there. I didn't, that didn't even cross my mind. After a while, it's called soup. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks for that. My question is along the same lines. Yeah, along the same lines, since most of you are newcomers to Dragon Con, not necessarily costumes, what is the most mind-blowing thing you have seen all weekend? There's not one. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bunch, and there's like a top ten that kind of stick out. Here's what I like, just because I've, I've been to many conventions, I've never been to a, a, a so I've been especially not one on this level. Um, when you guys go down to that, everybody just goes, to, like, everybody goes down to that main floor of the Marriott, and they just set up shop, and you just literally watch everybody going by. It's like, it's the best people watching ever. You know, it's, here's what I thought was really cool, and you'd never see this anywhere else. There's a really cool character, and, and to thank them, people go up and get their picture taken with them. I noticed that a lot this weekend. Is that normal? Is that, when you guys see something that you appreciate, and somebody that spent a lot of time and effort on a costume, you know what, that's incredibly cool. Like, not that you would see that anywhere else, but... That, that shows a level of respect for somebody else, and it, it's, it, it, it's going to sound dorky, but it, it kind of shows, you bring your guard down a bit, you know, it's, it's a vulnerability, it's, a, it's some, going up to somebody and saying, I really like what you did, can I take your picture, my picture with you? That's big, that's opening up your heart to someone else, which, again, I'm sorry, Dr. I know that's... Phil? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm tired, of, but do you know what I mean? I've just never seen that before, the, the camaraderie between people that don't even know each other. That's it's very cool. cool. I went to a very emotional place and I didn't mean it to. I like the naked people. <laughs> so this is the difference between the boys and the girls on Supernatural. <laughs> Most of them. Most of the naked people? Yeah. Did you see the fat stormtrooper after he got out of his costume? <laughs> is that in your room later? Or? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> rough night, Jim, rough night. <laughs> Not rough enough. <laughs> I saw something pretty mind-blowing. You're not um, here, are you, Mom? No, no. No. Um, I, uh, I saw a young woman uh, drinking soda and eating cookies. <laughs> and then chasing it with pretzels, and that was pretty... It's mind-blowing. Nuts. It's that makes me feel really wild. <laughs> Yeah, it actually does, because you're like, ah, no, actually, I can't have cookies or pretzels. I can't but. do the pretzels, but, you know. Yeah, I doubled up on the cookies. <laughs> Julie, how about you? Anything that's just blowing your mind? Uh, uh, everything. Uh, nothing in particular. I, I said the other day, everything feels like a blur. Her mind is pretty that's bold. That's not an insult. That's just, <laughs> it is. That's just the end result. I don't know what day it is. Everything feels like a blur. It's, yeah. Like when, when I go to bed, everything, it's like the energy in the four hotels is still living in my head. Right? You can't, it's like, what? Yeah. Anybody else in there with it? <laughs> Such a lonely room. He started. <laughs> I'm in the middle, what else am I supposed to do? Or was I'm watching a tennis you, game. Yes, you were in the middle. <laughs> Bring it on, Bring it on. Here's our next question. Yes, this is for Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello. Uh, this is a question from Sandra, actually. Uh, with all your acting now, are you still doing a lot of the computer tech? Yeah, that's a weird thing. I was like, when I was broke, I used to fix computers. And then, sort of when I was doing shows, everybody knew that I used to fix computers. So executive producers used to go, well, could you just look at my Mac for me? <laughs> so if I get a phone call at three in the morning, I could have a series, or it could be, what's my network password? <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, it's so beautifully humbling. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I've got something for you. 
Is it a show or? Oh, no, no, here you go, you know, this is for a virus. <laughs> no viruses on Max, how dare you? But uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I love, I love computers. What it is, is like, you know, Ron and David Icke and those guys never wanted to take this stuff to the genius bar because it's got all their scripts on it and everything they've ever written, all their deals and everything else. So they, they like to keep it private. So when I wasn't working, I was making good money fixing everybody's Max. <laughs> I kind of do it. It's, I love it. My geeky side. <laughs> Morning. This is from Jim. Hey. Um, I was going to ask you if there's any differences from when you worked on the West Wing to Supernatural. Was it a different? Kind you were the West Wing. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's good. I was on the West Wing for one day. <laughs> I West Wing. That's an interesting. That was my favorite show at the time. I just loved that show, and I desperately, desperately wanted to be on it. And I got a chance to audition for it, and they gave me the sides for the audition, and it was just a little thing as a, as a TV reporter in a press room sequence. And I thought, I don't care if it's just that, you know, eight lines or whatever. Uh, I, I, it's a chance to be on the West Wing. And so I auditioned, and they called me a couple hours later, said I got it, and it started shooting the next morning at like 7. And uh, there was something about the script that made me think, oh, yeah, there's, you know how they used to have the people walking through the White House and you'd see the TV monitors, and there'd be press room stuff happening on the TV monitors in the background. And I thought, well, I wonder if that's, you know, like ongoing. Uh, if, if maybe I'm going to be there more than just long enough to say these eight lines or so. And uh, so I called up the production office uh, late in the afternoon and said, is, is there any more than just what was in the audition? And they said, we'll get back to you. I didn't hear anything. But one o'clock in the morning, the fax machine goes off and 17 pages of stuff come rolling out. And it's all for me to shoot at 7 o'clock the next morning. Oh. And it's all Aaron Sorkin speak. <laughs> which, it was about economic developments in Nicaragua. <laughs> and I remember it now. <laughs> it was... Which happens to be your area of expertise, yeah, so you lucked out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I had kind of been off it for a few weeks, and I was I was rusty. Yeah. And he's very specific about his. You have to say. Oh, you got to say. Guys, you you got to say the people. syllable the way the syllable yeah. is written. He's very and specific about how he wants his stuff right. So my dream day on the West Wing was 15 hours of hell as I stumbled over lines over and over and over and over and. The actors were very cool because they, several of them came up to me and said, hey, don't worry about it. This happens to us all the time. We get pages at the last minute. And uh, uh, the director and the uh, cinematographer were less cool uh, <laughs> because they wanted to go home that week. And uh, uh, it, would, it turned out to be one of the worst experiences of my life. Uh, Just but, like Supernatural? <laughs> not like Supernatural. No. no, Supernatural, we get our scripts you know, a few days in advance, <laughs> get a chance to actually memorize them. Uh, so uh, if you, they actually included my little clip in a special West Wing they did uh, right after 9-11. And uh, so it's like, I get two chances to see myself fumbling all over the place. <laughs> well, one nice thing, Martin Sheen, Martin Sheen came up and said, hey, don't, don't fret this too much. He said, come here. He took me into the Oval Office set, and he said, look around the desk here. And I looked around the desk, and every single vertical face to any object had lines pasted on it. <laughs> so um, it's not just me. It's the Prez, too. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>